Hi. 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 My name is Derek Carter. And you probably know me from the wonderful Blue Coup stuff that I do on all your favorite social media outlets. Twitter. Instagram. TikTok. I'm having a sale. Well, I'm debulking. Um, I've been collecting gear since I was 17. I'll be 51 in a couple of months. And that's a lot. So, I've got triples of things, doubles of things. I've got spares of things that I don't even, I'm like, why is it here? Basically, I just need to get rid of it all. One of the first pieces that I'm gonna highlight is my TR909. It is one that I've had for years and years and years and years. Worked on like all the old Sound Patrol stuff, uh, all the old uh, stuff I have with classic remixes and things from like the 90s on. Um, it's just a lot. It also comes with a free squirrel ball sticker on it, which is highly sought after, rare, one of uh, 10, I believe. <laughs> also, fun fact about this, there was a promoter once who was putting together a rave or something and had Jeff Mills on his lineup and I guess Jeff Mills needed a 909 for his performance and I let him borrow mine. So, it's my 909 that Jeff Mills played on for a live show somewhere, I don't remember. Buy it. This is the TB303 Baseline Acid Machine. Original, in the box with the bag, all the charts, and the manual. Uh, you won't find one as pristine as this in any country, place, shape, or form, unless you somehow manage to get up in a time machine. Buy it. Your very own Roland TR-808 that I bought from Dominic Capello in Scotland. Dominic of Dominic and Harry, and they do sub club. Uh, sold it to me. Had it MIDI modified with some MIDI kit shit. Um, I haven't used it in years. I had it, just had it refurbed. Uh, the only problem was during the refurb, I did not get the internal battery changed. So it just needs to have the internal battery changed, which is 10 minutes of work. But as I was selling it, I didn't want to do it. So enjoy. Buy it. I got my two MPC 3000s. Both of them were referred by Bruce Forat out in LA. Uh, both of them have the newest OS. Uh, one of them, I believe it's the other one, the bottom one, has the very rare VGA card that you can use to connect an auxiliary monitor to. So. You could do all your editing and not on the little tiny green screen, which has been replaced and looks great, but on a much larger screen that you can get from your local thrift store for $4. Think about it, but buy it. It's my circuit bent period. I had a, I don't know, I thought I was going to be a cool hip sound garbler make some funky stuff and then and I did that for about a month and then I was like okay I need something else so I went and bought all the stuff like these weird old children's toys there's like a whole speaking collection spell read um math one whatever they got extra knobs and flip switches these sorts of things here it's all very cool um in my own homemade way buy it but it's a RCA BA6A, which is a crazy, crazy rare tube compressor that people like. I don't know. I went through my crazy Vantage phase and I went and got that. Um, these, it's like three stay levels, the one gray and then two of the uh, other model, the like lighter gray. Um, and then like this level devil these are all things that are from that same collective vintage piece time period. Uh, and they all work and sound extremely great. There's a couple of Altex as well that's going to be in this bunch. Uh, 1591, I believe. Maybe a, a couple of 436s, 436Cs, a 438C, uh, LA3A, 
and then a bunch of LA 4As in both the silver and black faces. Buy it. JD 800. I love this thing. I love it so much, I have three of them. I barely use one. Buy it. This Fismo. It's a very rare Transwave synthesizers. Um, makes crazy sounds, crazy sounds. There's user groups for this thing. There's like all kinds of patches you can download. There's like a whole underground people who love the Fismo. Buy it. Juno 106 with some lovely wood paneled sides. That's very nice. Look at that. That just looks great. I mean, come on. Look at how shiny that is. This is real wood, allegedly. I think it'll be really nice. Also, it's been repaired. I had it gone through by uh, my buddy Mike over at Borsch. And I mean, he takes care of most of the stuff that needs any sort of attention. So I know it's done well. Uh, all the voices work. Everything's grand. Buy it. Moog Voyager Signature Edition. Um, I've used this quite a lot. It's great. Absolutely great. And I've had it since it was released. Like, I pulled it out of the box. Buy it! Also, lots of wood. Lots of wood. Nice wood. This is my personal JD800. It's got wood sides, too. Just thought I'd show you so you could be a little jealous. That's all. So these are the Techniques WSA1R. They sound very expensive. They are funky. They are fresh. They are thematic. They are symphonic. They are just real good machines. I like them so much. I also have, have two of them in the rack mount and then one keyboard model. Because they, they just sound good. Buy it. All right. That's some stuff. Um, first drop should be soon. Then there's going to be a second drop with more of this, all this stuff and stuff. Just getting rid of speakers, getting rid of like modular things. I mean, this place just, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Buy it.